Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm starting my first road trip with my new Honda XADV. I had to reschedule it a few times because first there was a job, then afterwards we had some thunderstorms here in Germany and a lot of rain, so I decided to schedule it a little bit later and now I'm finally starting my longer road trip with Sid and yeah what is it all about first it's to test the Honda XADV how it handles on long distance rides second it's a trip to relax a bit because I had a lot of stress in the last time and motorcycle or scooter riding is always relaxation for me and this is what it's all about I have no goal where I'm going I have no hotels booked so everything will be spontaneous and a little bit of a surprise. So I have no plan where I'm going. I just know that I'm going south. Today we have now 19 degrees, will be 24, 25 maybe. So quite pleasant. I have my summer gear on, also a vest. This is an airbag vest because I had an accident last year with my BMW scooter. I decided to be a little bit more protected and safe because I had some injuries last year, broken ribs and a few more damages on shoulder and on the knees. So this time I decided be on the safe side, get an airbag vest and so I'm wearing a Helite airbag vest this time. And now I'm doing the first 50 to 100 kilometers maybe on the highway, on the Autobahn, just to get out of the Berlin-Brandenburg region. And after that I will take only the small roads and then it starts to be for sure a bit more relaxing. Yeah, so now I will enjoy a little bit my music, get on the Autobahn direction of Leipzig. Okay, I left the Autobahn now. One hour, that's enough. These are much better roads than riding on the Autobahn. Fields everywhere you look, less traffic. So this is good for relaxing. Just put some music on your communication system and then cruise on these wonderful roads. Weather is perfect, not too hot. It's 22 degrees now. Very pleasant temperature for riding a motorcycle. What a beautiful landscape here. By the way, the app I'm using for navigation is the Kalimoto app. Sometimes I also take Google Maps, but most of the time if I'm looking for roads like this, I use Kalimoto app and you can switch between Autobahn, no Autobahn, uh, curvy roads or very curvy roads.
lot of lakes here right side left side so it seems we are getting closer to the Saale which is my destination for today again some beautiful winding roads so I'm quite happy so far with the tour that Kalimoto was giving me very small roads pleasant to drive So I just make a short rest now, I just find a place somewhere in the shadow here on a parking place of a supermarket. Here is shadow, perfect. Oh. Whew. Got it. So four, four and a half hours now. That's enough. I need a break. So it's getting also much hotter now, it's 27 degrees. I took my windbreaker off, it's too warm now. So just my summer jacket, which is very pleasant when it's hot, because it has a lot of mesh here, which lets the air through. This part of Germany is called Thüringen and we are going in the direction of Ziegenrück um, which is directly on the Saale which is a river here in Thüringen which seems to be quite beautiful and never have been there so will be interesting to have a look it's a small river but um, yeah, he's moving like a snake through the landscape, so I think it will look great. Hope to get some nice drone shots over there. the sound of the exhaust cool sound compared to my older scooters I didn't expect these kind of roads here it's also going a little bit up and down not like mountains, but very interesting to ride. Oh, yeah.
very small street as you can see if there are coming two cars here will be interesting It's so relaxing to ride through the forest. And I need some fresh air now. It smells good, perfect. Yeah, what can be better than riding with your motorcycle through the nature? This is relaxing. Yeah, let's see now. We should somehow get to the Saale. Oh, it looks like a Roman viaduct. One guy fishing there. Yeah, nice place.
it's just six minutes then I'm in the hotel. Seems to be a nice hotel. Look very beautiful on booking.com. So I hope I can relax a little bit. Take a hot shower. Get something to eat. Okay, so this seems to be the way to the hotel, which is interesting. And now I can test the gravel mode. So let's see. I think you cannot really see it. It's quite steep here. It's an uphill. Wow. <laughs> My first ride on a gravel road. That's a bit slippery. think this is the right way to the hotel. I have to find another one. It's not possible that someone is going with a car up here. <laughs> okay. So first time off-road with the X80V. But I have to go down again. This is, uh, this looks too steep and too muddy. And I'm heavy loaded, so better don't risk anything and whoa, <laughs> and try to get down. Whoa. The funny thing is on the action cams you cannot see how much it is going down here. Wow. <laughs> the rear wheel is blocking. No, I don't think that this is the right road to the hotel. Because no car can go up there. Ooh, slippery, slippery here. It's a bit too wet and muddy. Wow. <laughs> yes, for off-road, I mean, this is really a heavy beast. Wow. <laughs> My rear wheel is completely blocking because it's so slippery here. <sighs> okay, did it. A bit risky, but let's see. There should be another way. I don't think this is the right one to the hotel. Hmm. Ah, okay. Google Maps <laughs> did send me the wrong way. But, okay, short experience with some off-roading. I mean, maybe if it's not completely loaded, the X80V and um, maybe not that uphill and muddy, should be no problem to do any kind of gravel roads or soft off-roading. But this way, this uh, gravel road here, which was going up like, like this, this was, I think, a little bit too much. Ah, Panorama Restaurant Marine Dome. I think this is uh, one where it's the hotel. It's called a panoramic hotel, so you should be, there should be a nice view. An overview we will see in a second yeah this street is much better <laughs> the 
the gravel road not possible with this bike and the mud. So parking, where is the entrance? Again, heavy loaded. 44, 44. So here's the room. So for sure, I have to minimize my luggage. So, okay, that's the room. Okay. Looks nice, bit, bit old-fashioned, but okay. These are the first two bags. I have, I have another one in the scooter, which I will get in a second. Panoramic view, I think I don't have a, a room with panoramic view. This is the panoramic parking place view. Okay, my first riding day is finished more than eight hours on the Honda X ADV. I found a quite nice hotel, so I will take a hot shower now, go for some food and then back up all my files and then go to bed early because I feel my back now. Even it was a lot of fun, but uh, more than eight hours on a motorcycle, it's enough. That's, that's for sure enough. And if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next video. Have a safe ride. Cheers.